dove yesterday on the south side of uh, where Cabo is on the south end of the. Uh... What's that? Yeah, it's so neat. Where we dove yesterday on the south end of the Baja Peninsula, which is where Cabo is located. Just to the north is uh, the Pacific Ocean where we are now, and to the south is the Sea of Cortez. So we started this dive on this rock ledge in the Sea of Cortez and swung around to the north side and ended up in the Pacific Ocean. One of the coolest dives I've ever done. Saw huge bait balls and seals. We're diving in and out of the bait balls. You can hear whales in the distance. A lot of eels and lobster. Really neat, neat stuff out here. I tell you, you catch two or three of those marlin and your, your arms are spent. Very exhausting catching those one using four she was using 50 pound tests, I was using 40 pound tests. I mean they are they're a chore to bring in. They're a chore that, that you know pretty big. I think that first one was probably um, I don't know, I have a picture of it, maybe 250 pounds or so at eight foot, seven pound foot, something like that. I'm not sure exactly. A lot of dolphin out here. probably an hour and a half and we had uh, the marlin caught within uh, I mean it was unbelievable within the first hour we had had three to the boat but within the first 10 minutes we had had three on our lines so amazing back here with the tuna is, um, I mean, we wanted marlin, that's specifically what we went out for. We went out to, we took a, almost a three hour run to a very specific spot, considered the best marlin spot um, in these waters. And um, we went just for that. But now these guys are hoping to pick up a few tuna. And we don't mind, they ask us if we could, if we could stay out and do it a little bit. But I mean, this they'll get in and sell this tuna or, or eat this tuna. So this actually helps them out a little bit. Um, we don't have any desire to keep this, any of this meat, you know, we're leaving tomorrow. But um, that's what we're doing right now. And it's fun to reel them in. I mean, they're small. The lines are, the lines are, you know, the, the reels are pretty big, so it's, it's no real task to get them in the boat. These are also real good waters for like giant yellow fish. So they get 200, 300 pounds larger tuna. And uh, this is actually the time of year we just have to go off about 50, 50 to 60 miles. We went about 50 miles from Cabo and about 20 to 30 miles offshore, maybe 25 miles offshore today. For the larger tuna, you'd have to run straight out about anywhere from 40 to 60 miles. According to these guys who are 